it's time for engine assembly. Stay tuned for a bit more of this as well. Here it goes. You can see the engine block is back on the stand. It's got its main bearings pushed into place and I'm putting the rear crank mainsail on, which is unusual. You'd normally push a crank mainsail on from the end when the crank is in, but on this one it has a split in it and you put it around the crankshaft and then attach the spring. So I've turned the split uh, so it would be facing upwards. So hopefully that reduces its potential to leak. So now the main caps go on and they're hand tight before I start putting the rear seal retainer on. Mrs. Loz just went out for uh, an exercise class, so I'm going to break into the chocolate. <laughs> so next up is to torque those main caps down. Uh, and I've actually forgotten I need to untalk the rear one as I try and put the crank main seal. Uh, retainers on these half moon shaped bits of steel they bolt on the back and, and squeeze the seal against the crank uh, so I've had to actually loosen the rear uh, main to lean it forwards in order to get that that clamp on there but that's all done next up is pistons and uh, and con rods so I get them all out the rings are already on I did that when I gapped the rings and uh, checked the piston fit uh, next is to put the pins in uh, which was nice and easy they just press in by hand uh, because there's circlips to hold them in place so I think that's called a fully floating, um, maybe that's not what it's meant to be doing, but it will be fully floating crank bin. In go the, uh, the main, uh, sorry, the big end bearings next, and then I've oiled the bores. You see the oil dripping down the face of the, the engine there. And then um, using the piston ring compressor, hold those piston rings in, and then at the back of the, or the handle of the hammer to tap the piston into the bore. Being careful not to damage the crankshaft with the big end of the connecting rod. And then once that's in, put the, uh, the connecting rod cap on and tighten those down by hand. Um, so yeah, everything on this engine has been a whole lot quicker, obviously, than the V8 I've previously done, because uh, there's half of it, of course, half the stuff. So it really came together quickly. So I'm talking those big ends up now. And uh, and that's uh, that's that's the real, the main components are in there now. So onto the camshaft, brand new, of course. And uh, a few of these old bits here needed a little cleaning up because they weren't in my previous video, so just a little bit of petrol to clean those up. And then the um, the camshaft can go in with a lot of assembly lube and uh, being very careful not to damage the bearings in there. Uh, more assembly lube before pulling it back into place. Bolting the retainer up and then the, um, the, the um, what's it called? Then the sprocket can go on the front, which is what holds it uh, against the retaining plate, so that stops it moving altogether. And then on, on with the new chain and the tensioner, I've had given that a little clean up as well. The tensioner can go back on. Uh, and really that's the bottom end. Uh, the, the main components of the bottom end of the block are sort of done at this point. Um, I've cleaned up all the oil pump components, I've cleaned up all the oil pump components uh, ready to put on the engine. And I was just having a little look and um, this is the old steel oil pump gear. All the tolerances were good except for this one. There you go, look, have a look at that. But the new one, <coughs> which is here, is quite a bit better. And it measures inside of spec. The gap increasing and decreasing there between this, the casing and the teeth top. And again, there's the old one. Huge, huge gap opening and closing. So that's going to be great. Fantastic oil pressure on that one. Let's get it back together. Quite a, a good oil pump, really, and it's uh, it's immersed in oil, so it doesn't need priming or anything like that. It should uh, pump oil pretty much from the get-go. Bolt that all up, and now we're on to the followers. So these are the old buckets I'm reusing with new followers. The part that contacts the camshaft I'm renewing. You can see the discs, the little um, like look like hobby, hockey pucks uh, in plastic. Those are be those are the bits being renewed. So I use a cable tie here to hold the whole assembly together while I drop it in. Uh, and then pull the cable tie out uh, before putting the little retaining bolt in place. There you go, you can see the bolts going in uh, to hold those outer cylinders in place. You can see that little back plate cover going on. Right, I've come to bolt this on. I found a bit of an issue. Um, there's a gasket, here it is. Which per looks perfect on there, look. There you go. When you offer it up to the oil filter mount, you can see that there is a um, there's a gap above above here. There's a gap uh, between the gasket 
and the components. So the oil is going to be able to get into this cavity here. Uh, there's um, you can see that it's, it, it would it would flow over there, okay. And then on the bottom half, <coughs> there's also tiny gaps here. Look, you can see there. Look, I'll exaggerate the point. <laughs> There you go, there and there, left and right. So the oil will be allowed to go from this um, um, from this hole to this hole and basically bypass the filter. So that's useless. So I spent some time making this, which now will face that way. You can see it's fine there. It really completely seals all of, both of those holes. And when I offer it to the engine block, you can see it's also good on there as well. Uh, there we go. So now I can get on and fit that. That took a long time. <laughs> it's so satisfying getting this stuff together. New clean parts, painted parts, and brand new parts, obviously, in the case of the oil filter itself. Uh, so I was having a lot of fun at this point, bolting stuff up. It's lovely. It's like Lego. It's like being five years old at Christmas again. At this point, I got a bit crazy with stop motion again. These ones didn't take too long, but very satisfying to watch. That's all for this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in again next week for the uh, top end of the engine going back on.